New Jersey's weed man was here in Trenton in state appellate court. So how'd it go? I think we're gonna win on some point. I think we actually brought 16 different arguments. 17. 17. <laughs> yeah, 17. Yeah. Ed Fortune, better known to some as New Jersey's weed man, was here in Trenton in state appellate court. My understanding is the THC level is, is much lower, and it does, just doesn't work. The medical marijuana is very weak, and that's why Mr. Fortune hasn't even bothered to apply. He and his attorney, John Vincent Satanic, were arguing for marijuana law reciprocity for New Jersey to recognize and allow medicinal marijuana cardholders from other states to freely use medicinal weed here in the Garden State. So how'd it go? Are you optimistic? I, I'd say uh, seven or eight. I think we're going to win on some point. Um, we actually brought 16 different arguments. 16 different arguments. I think... 17. 17. <laughs> yeah, 17. Um, I raised eight, you raised nine. Yeah, there we go. But in there, we only talked about five or six. Um, seven or eight. I think. 17. 17. I think we're going to win on some point. A couple of them were crunched together. But, you know, so there are there brief, there are arguments that, that didn't make it to that. Now, Ed and his attorney made religious arguments. Ed is a Rastafarian, and smoking weed is a sacrament of that religion. They also argued for an American's right to travel. Medical marijuana cardholders, which is what Ed is in California, have to watch what states they travel to and know the law. Now, I wanted to talk more about it, and Ed said that's all good, but I needed to follow him here to the new restaurant and cultural center he's opening up right across from Trenton City Hall. We plan on having good food here. Sure. Uh, we're having salads, uh, pastries, uh, non-sugar. Let me blow if I had a Coke. But... Yeah. <laughs> well, the counter's full of things like drill bits right now. You guys aren't quite finished building the place yet, but Edward calls himself a master delegator. This entire backyard is going to be turned into a say open um, a, a, a fish fry pit probably on Fridays every Friday we're gonna have um, a fish fry so if you want some fish on Friday evening yeah. Maurice his head chef says the food the whole menu is gonna be all about the health now what is it L-Arginine? L-Arginine. I'm not familiar it is a natural noxious nitrous oxide yeah. it's just like if you like mm -hmm. yeah. and you hit your nose <laughs> you know you're gone and then I give you the zinc which is good for building Getting the restaurant open by that due date of June 15th shouldn't be a problem. There's a lot of emotional support behind the restaurant, and he's got a lot of friends, so there's a lot of volunteer help at work here right now. That helps to keep costs down. So what do you think about the nation's changing attitudes toward decriminalization and legalization of medical marijuana? Are you down with it? Do you think it's a good idea, or do you still think it's the devil weed? Hit me up on Twitter, at Chasing Hank, or us, at Chasing the News.